Welcome back for another round of showrunner commentary. I'm Zara Page. I'm the writer and creator for Terms and Conditions. And this episode, what do you want to be when you grow up? I wanted to really explore the relationship between Barb and Penny, as well as Barb and her son Dustin. He's really an interesting character because because, um, well, he was from one of her husbands, um, fr- really? he was a circus well, performer, the last one was and a short, we really you know wanted I mean. to have, oh, like, a, her have, a, like, a real diverse and open wait, background, wait, 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 and so the backstory God. is that Look she that. married well, an Indian circus performer and a star Um Now, Dustin oh, is a bit of a mama's goodness. boy. And it's a, it's as we see, we see thing. him yeah, peeking out with the girls, huh? Penny and um, yep. Barb, are having fun on yeah, uh, yeah, using well, a, like a, an, a, it's an app, I think it's called. No, no, it was yes. um, actually a text a dick pic um, that's Ooh. Tate sent bar basically um wow. we thought this would be an interesting way to show that That's what like to says. show it but not show it but then also you know Ma! he's listening in on this Son, and he's genius. kind of Come like mm, you know but um on, this is really about him oh, kind of all the different things that he's been yeah, going through calling, trying right? to find the his way um, and it's highlighting bucks. kind of no, um, the parenting you know style really? of like and a more hands-on helicopter driver, kind of parent that. that Barb might have been with be so him popular. and so he so really please. doesn't want to go idea? far from Flipping home. Houses. He likes that support. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and Rushi Koda, we found him first. You know, you might know him. Um, yes, from Never Have I Ever. He's pre-shot. Um, but we found him first. Uh, he's a really good friend of mine. Really talented actor. And he just creates such a wacky Dustin, which I love. I just told him to lean all into it because he is kind of wacky. He's off. um, And he's just, you know, in his own world. And he's trying to milk it for all he can. Staying home. You know, kind of just, you know, like a young Gen Z slash millennial because he's like on that cusp. And, you know, it, that's a that's a hot, hot topic right now. You know, it's not only, it's not just that they just want to stay home, you know, they have to because, Are you, sure? you know, it's, it's tough out that. there and, this you know, like getting out building. there. Oh, that's so sure this is that's what I really want to explore with this. this. Really and like an so this little scene ass. actually, um, it's kind of cool because Tear it's the alley the behind, behind the oh, house that we see. Oh, cool. most of terms and conditions on, which is baby. like Barb's house however Shoot. we're kind of faking it for this kind of you know, neighborhood where it's a little sketch neighborhood um, but this is actually my I apartment this was a seminar about that I had I a studio absolutely. apartment in Los Angeles oh, and so too. we you used know, my studio as this location because it would be kind of funny that um, mm. this she character who's holding my this mind is open, but my seminar is quote unquote <laughs> um, Chip Smiley um, it would be in his I'm studio Chip apartment Smiley. you know because he's, he's, he's one of those people he's up and coming quote unquote um but you know he's real entrepreneurial um he's really you know trying to break into that like motivational kind of speaking it's kind of a parody on that and you know barb she's really really skeptical about all this but dustin is eating it up and Penny, Penny, you know, she's kind of trying well, to kind of balance all of them. She's trying to be sure supportive of Dustin because she understands that it's really Penny. difficult Excuse out me, there. Um, and Barb is a little no harsher, you know, right her. here, um, <laughs> and where she's it kind of just, you know, so yelling out her to dispel. Basically, no her um, opinion Nay, Darby, about Nay. what she is experiencing. So, oh yeah. 
You wouldn't know a caveat. <laughs> yes, I love that it. line it's that she says thought. right there. Um, so this really is, in, in a nutshell, like what her relationship <laughs> with Dustin going forward is going to be. It's her really trying to kind of counterbalance probably like her early parenting and now she's stuck me? with this man child and so she's and constantly going to be trying to nudge him forward this, into adulthood and he really you know, isn't. I mean there's a lot of me. things that we're going to reveal in season two about him. Oh, you know the fact I that he's did. gay Look, um, that doesn't you. hasn't so even come out yourself? yet in this but you know just he starts discovering himself as she's pushing him out the nest. You know, oh, so this is really big um, for her to finally Senate, just, like, give help. him some tough mm -hmm. love. And Penny is still nowadays. trying to balance it. I mean, she feels if, if bad for him. Insane, She's known lunatic, Barb, they're, they're you know, really know you are. since day Rule one now. with Rule the kids, five. like, since the kids were little. And so she, no she knows. Um, that it's not entirely burgers. his fault, so she tries to kind of support him. Um, but this moment is really great because he, he realizes, wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I just said I was going to do it on my own, and then he's like, no. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this week's Behind the Scenes commentary. For more Behind the Scenes insights and tea, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Or you can support us on our Eternal City Productions Patreon page. Until next time, bye for now.